Oh my God, I got a game changer for you tonight. Absolute game changer. It is this stuff. Dialux Blanc, especially. The rouge is good with the silver. The white is good with the gold. Oh my goodness, let me show you what we can do with this. Step one is to find a slightly tarnished ring. You know, it's gold, so it, it's not going to tarnish too much. But, oh my goodness, there's another level that is going to be unlocked. Step two, take your Dremel, or, you know, drill, anything that rotates, and you just put some on. I like the white Dialux Blanc. That means badass in French. Okay, now what you're going to do is just apply it. And look at the difference already. See, tarnished here, untarnished there. Look at the difference. Whatever the heck Dialux Blanc is, that's awesome. That's next level polishing right there. You need a Dremel and you need Dialux Blanc. See? Tarnished, untarnished. And then at the end of this, you're going to just give it a gentle wipe with a paper towel. I'm going to do the insides too, but this stuff is a difference maker. I'll have a link in the description. That's pretty cool. The uh, Dremel tips that I'm using are these ones right here. And here is the finished version. Man. That is next level. I found out about this stuff because I was looking at what jewelers would use, you know, to get that mirror-like finish. And I came up with this. Um, that was the answer. And I would have to say I agree 100%. Oh my God, I'm addicted. Here's another ring. So here's another ring that I polished, and there's an important, <laughs> I see I got some dirt I still have to take out of the front here, but there was an important point. The back, I always thought that this was a plated ring. It had uh, a mark that looked like copper. It just worked it right out. And uh, this one is, uh, it certainly has the weight of gold. I know it's gold. But uh, I assumed, I always assumed that uh, the handle had some copper in it. There's another ring just like it. Let's see if we could get the same effect. The, um, you know, that stain is gone now. This is good stuff. All right, here is a ring that has a similar mark in the back. Now let's see what we can do with this. Here it is polished, and it's gone. All right, here is another miracle candidate. Uh, this one was actually brownish. It's a 10K ring. No, it says 14K. Um, tarnished. Well, let's see what we could do. Is this not a different ring? Wow. Grand finale. We're going to try this on a wheat penny. Here is the before. Pretty toasty shape. And I think it's a 1914. 
Oh, that is slamming. Look at that bad boy shine. Didn't change the color, but it definitely gave a coat of polish to it. Oh, that's hurting my eyes. Okay, for the grand finale, we have a large scent. This is going to be transformed right before your eyes. Hopefully. Let's see. Wow. Well, there you go. We went from um, dull detail to polished detail. And uh, this stuff is used with fine metals uh, with the purpose of it not, uh, you know, protecting it from decompo uh, further decomposition. So, you know what? We just varnished a penny. That's what we did. There's a few spots we have to get a little bit more. But I don't know. This or this. Let me give it a polish. Let me let me see how it looks. Bear with me. Well, there you have it. You can see the details better because of the varnishing. Might need to go back a little bit more, um, you know, make the finish a little bit more even. But uh, I would say that this is an improvement. And we're talking about coins that are found in the ground here. Um, this is a last resort treatment. So I'd say that this is a pretty miraculous results with the rings especially. But just being able, you know, instead of having that dirt patina, like you could see these. This is a big improvement, in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments.